Buckeye is booming, but as the city grows, the infrastructure has to as well. As the fastest growing city in the nation, it's adding extra traffic, creating backups on I-10 Verado Way. Tonight, our Mark Thompson shows us the plan to ease the congestion. Crews started working on this project earlier this summer. I-10 changing and improving to support a booming population. The I-10 near Buckeye is crowded already. Big rigs and cars jockeying for lanes during this current round of construction. The first phase between Miller Road and State Route 85. It's important to uh, slow down to the 55 mile per hour speed limit creating safer conditions. ADOT spokesperson Doug Nensel says this project will eventually widen eight miles between Verado Way and State Route 85 from two lanes to three. This is all about enhancing the capacity along a very important stretch of I-10. It'll also create diverging diamond lanes at Miller and Watson Roads, similar to this one at I-17 in Happy Valley, allowing cross street traffic to safely turn left. Situation in terms of entering and exiting the freeway. Improvements happening on I-10 obviously are gonna have a tremendous benefit to our residents. City spokesperson Annie DeChant says infrastructure is critical to handle its business and residential boom. Buckeye's population now, she says, 105,000 and counting. MAG estimates that by 2030, we're going to be at about 186,000. And by 2040, we're going to be at about 300,000, 305,000. Buckeye's sitting on 640 square miles. That's larger than Phoenix, but only 10% built out. That's why we're trying to stay ahead of things uh, by widening the freeway now because it's not just about the improvements for today's traffic, it's about decades from now. Total project cost $82 million, paid for through a combination of Prop 400 and federal funds. In Buckeye, Mark Thompson, ABC 15, Arizona.